Hello, Seth here from macOS 10 screencast.com. Today I'm showing you Espionage 2. This is a folder securing application for your Mac. You can grab it at taroeffect.com slash espionage. Just click on the download button and it will download a DMG to your desktop. Once downloaded, you can open the disk image and drag the espionage.app to your applications folder or in my case to the desktop and then safely unmount it. Now we will launch espionage.app and it will guide you through the espionage setup. Just click next, agree with the license dialog. You will then be asked to enter your master password. You see that espionage tries to set up iSpy. This is nothing harmful. Uh, to make it short, iSpy is needed by Espionage in order to work. If you want to learn more about iSpy, just go to the Espionage website and you get more information about this little extension. Hit Next. Then you will be asked if you'd like to install the so-called contextual menu item right now or at a later moment. I will choose to install it later. Then you get two options here asking you if you want to use the current login keychain or a separate keychain. For the purpose of the screencast, I will use the login keychain. Hit complete and then Espionage launches. Enter your previously chosen master password and then Espionage asks you to drag a folder to its interface. What Espionage does, it encrypts secret folders. In my case, I want to have the secrets folder encrypted by Espionage. Just drag it to Espionage. Then you get this dialog informing you about what Espionage does. Just hit the OK button and you get a nice little dialog giving you several options like choose an encryption, a password or so-called application associations. Uh, these application associations I will show you later. Just enter your password and from the encryption option you have different options like using an AES-128 or 256 encryption key or end use a sparse image or a sparse bundle. In short, a sparse image is better for small files and a sparse bundle is better for big files because they are being handled by Time Machine better. I will stick with the sparse image for now, hit OK. Then Espionage encrypts this folder. This will take some time. But once Espionage is done, you get these info pop-ups informing you about what Espionage has done in the background. Then you get this so-called folder locked dialog asking you for your password and you enter the right password for the folder you get an option here on the bottom right if you want to add finder to a black or white list what these options are i will show at a later moment we just click on ok right now get rid of the alert pop-up and espionage has unlocked the folder in the background from now I can work with this folder just as was it uh, no, uh, any normal folder. I can create new folders. Pretty clueless right now. I can add new files to this folder like my application series list, espionage, register to uh, key. I will save this one to the espionage folder or to my secrets folder um, series.txt close the window you see that I have now this so-called series.txt file in my secrets folder then we go back to espionage and we will lock this folder hit the lock button save changes and then espionage will lock the folder now when I try to access this folder from finder I will get the information dialog again asking me to input my password, hit the OK button and now I can go to my folder and access my data again. 
But what if you want to get rid of your encrypted folders but leave your data intact as the as they as it was? No problem for espionage. Just click on the minus button. You get an information coming up asking you if you really want to decrypt your data. Hit the yes button and all your data will be restored to normal and will be unencrypted right now. Many of you may want to use espionage to encrypt your mail uh, folders. And this is what espionage is really built for. If you go to the file application templates list here, list of all applications currently supported by espionage, these are so-called application templates, and I can just select mail from here, hit next, then I can enter a different password again. This password for my secrets folder and my master password and my mail password don't have to be the same. You can choose an encryption for every um, mail folder, hit the go button, then Espionage will encrypt your folders. This will take a lot of time if you have a lot of mail downloads or a lot of mail accounts or a lot of mails. Um, in my case, I just have about 20 megabytes on my disk and this will get quite fast. Mail has already been encrypted. Now the mail downloads folder will be encrypted. Once done, I can now access my mail downloads with espionage. And now whenever I open up my mail.app, I will be asked to enter my password click on OK and now my mail photo gets unencrypted or unlocked and I can write my mails from here. Hello. I think you get it. When you quit mail, espionage recognizes that you quit mail and will automatically encrypt and lock your folders again. Okay, that was quite easy. But what happens if you have an application on your hard drive which is not in the application template? Espionage can encrypt these folders as well. Just go to the folder where the data is being stored, the application uses. In my case, I have this application line lying here in library application support and the application name. Just drag this folder to the espionage interface close the window, enter your password for this folder, hit the OK button and then the folder will be encrypted. And now we will associate an application with this folder that this folder will be automatically encrypted or unlocked when we launch an application just hit the added application associations drag your application to the list you can choose to lock the folder when the application is being quit or to launch at login hit close and then whenever i open up my application i get a the dialog again click ok the folder will be encrypted my application is being launched i can work with it close the application, the folder will be locked again, and boom, you have very secure data on your hard drive. What is the so-called black and white list? You can choose to have several uh, applications to being whitelisted, so these applications have granted access to all your encrypted data whenever they are doing their work. In the case of backup applications like SuperDuper, you may want to whitelist these applications. Close and you have set up your whitelist. This was it for the espionage review. If you want to get espionage at a discounted value of 20% less, you can go to our website and look up the discount code. It is OSXCast. 
This will get you 20% off of espionage. This is a time limited and seat limited offer. We have only 100 uh, discounts available. Be fast to grab your license from uh, for espionage. I hope you like the screencast. Bye bye.